All right, boys, stand. Face the American flag. Hand over your heart. All right, Mr. Caleb, lead us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, Mr. Caleb, or Caden, lead us in the Christian flag. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for his kingdom to stand, united all true Christians in service and in love. All right, Mr. Caleb, lead us in the Bible pledge. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp into my feet and a light into my path. I will hide his words in my heart that I might not sin against God. Because with God's help, I will do my best to serve God, my church, and my fellow men. To live by the ranger tongue, to make the golden rule my daily rule. A roll, ranger hands. Alert, clean, honest, courageous, loyal, courteous, obedient, spiritual. All right, boys, if y'all remember, last time we was here, we were, we were in the Book of Kings visiting with all the boys about the different situations they've been in and the different kings they saw. Well, we're now we're in, a new, we're in a new quarter, and we're going to learn some stuff out of the Book of Chronicles. Y'all excited? All right. So today, we're learning about families. That's today's Bible lesson, and we're referring to 1 Chronicles 3, 1 and 9. So who's telling the story in our book? Can you, remember, can, you remember, can you remember the dog's name? No. Yes, Rocky. It's Rocky. Rocky, Eli. And that's it. No. No, no. Oh, come on. You can remember all the boys. Andy and, and David, right? Yes. All right. Well, as the dust was clearing, I was getting my balance. I heard someone speaking. Hey, my name is on here. It was King David talking. I jumped out of the time machine and looked around. No one else was there. I wondered. Oh, we met some of these guys too. There's Absalom. There's Solomon. I wonder what this thing is, David said. What are you talking about, asked Eli, walking into the room with Andy. David was holding something that looked like a piece of cloth in his hand. They were neatly organized and had names all over them. Eli began reading the names. By this time, all three boys were crowded around trying to pronounce the names correctly. Andy thought that maybe King David's grandma was making him a quill. What do you think this is, Eli? asked Andy. I believe it's the genealogy, replied Eli. He explained that a genealogy was the way that people kept track of their ancestors. David looked at it, and he was a little confused, like right? What's, what's genealogy ancestors? What? I get it, said Andy said. It's a family tree. Eli thought that we had probably landed somewhere in King David's palace. The Hebrew people were proud of their ancestry and kept very accurate rest, re records of their families. Eli compared the name to the Bible passage. States that he believed that they had found King David's genealogy. Andy asked, you mean we are back in the Old Testament during the reign of King David? Didn't we already travel through this part of the Bible? Different parts of the Bible talk about the same periods of the time. I wonder, what are we supposed to be figuring out this time, Eli said. Wow, David said. So we're back with King David. He is so cool. I wonder if he'll remember us. Isn't there any other genealogy in the New Testament? Andy asked. Eli nodded and said, well, in Matthew 1, that genealogy shows us, the, that genealogy shows us that Jesus was part of David's family tree. It was through these records or genealogy that we know that Jesus came from David's family just as God said he would. Isn't that pretty cool? Do you have a family tree, Mr. Caleb? Yeah. Yeah, you got your mom, your dad. Your nana, your papa, your great papas, all the way up. And that's what the genealogy is. It starts from the very, as far back as you can 
remember, I got a great great grandpa that I've been told about, and I don't, I never met him, but I can read about him and read about what he was and who he was in our family because of our family tree. So, how are genealogy in Matthew the same as the one that we're finding in David? Do you think it's the same one? No. I bet it is. Because what did it say about Jesus? It said Jesus came from the family tree of David, right? So that same genealogy that they're seeing right now about David, that's the beginning part. Well, after David, you're going to have all these other names, and then you'll have Jesus. So that's all one big family tree. Isn't that pretty neat? And God promised that's where Jesus was going to come from, the, family, the lineage of David. Isn't that pretty awesome, boys? Commander Justin here. Hey boys, I love and miss you. I'm sorry we can't spend our Wednesdays together now that we got the sun out late and the and the rain's trying to go away. We can spend some outside playtime. As soon as all this stuff's over, I've got all kinds of stuff planned and excited to do outside with the bows, BB guns, kickballs, all kinds of exciting things. I'm praying for you. I love you guys. I hope you enjoy the lesson. I'm going to keep posting them every Wednesday. I'm going to keep praying, and I love you guys, and I'll see you when we come back.